where we catch up on all things Phoenix. Just us this week, and we're at the Midget Centre where we've had some great nights. The league fixtures kicking off this weekend. We've got a lot of good stuff to show you. In other news. We had to double take when new Phoenix member Andy turned up, as we thought we'd just signed up David Warner. What do you think? Congratulations to our first team skipper, who was awarded Division 6 Batsman of the Year, with Alan scoring the top score in the division with his 116 not out. And he also made it again in the top five innings with 108. Well played, Al. She's not quite made it to number 10 yet, but welcome to Eleanor Lestrange, who's our new cricket participation officer, and we thank her for her time for visiting us down at Hawley to have a look at our objectives for our long-term investment at that ground, and also then took the time to come across to Frimley Green to see how we're doing the same there. So a brilliant job. Thank you so much, Eleanor. It's time for the match report. So pitch inspection ads, what's, uh, what's your take mate? Uh, well we've had a look at the pitch, it got down about half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago to have a look at it and it was a bit wet then but then it started raining again and it's just too much water on the wicket so unfortunately had to call the game. Yeah, game over mate, yeah? Yeah, Unlucky. game over, I'm re really gutted, um, obviously first game skipper in, I was buzzing to get out there, a decent team against the Sams but yeah, sort of gave it everything that we really could to be honest and gave it all the time but it just wasn't going to dry up in time so had to call it unfortunately fair enough better luck next week mate eh? cheers mate thank you so just the job now of letting everybody know that the wednesday midweek game is called off and not even this man could work his magic and uh, and dry that bitch out in time so to start the weekend we were at frimley green recreation ground for our under 11 game against hartley whitney and a fantastic result that couldn't have been closer. Frimley Phoenix net score 116, Hartley Whitney 115. A one-run win for the under-11s, which is a fantastic start to the season. Then took the chance to catch up with Flames captain Claire for her uptake on the women's cricket. So Claire, all back now for the for the 2024 season. Are you looking forward to it? Really looking forward to it. Really excited. Got a really strong team. Um, a good solid eight for most matches. Um, winter nets went really well. We are really pleased. We've got um, we did some really nice batting exercises. Um, Charlotte did some really good training exercises with us. Um, Excellent. And the new shirts that I just see your Charlotte in the background. Yeah, with. my Charlotte's in one of our new shirts. She's just hidden now. She's just hidden. <laughs> But she, um, yeah, no, we're really excited about those. They're really, they're just a bit longer for the women on the back. They're a bit more fitted um, and we're really excited to show them off. Okay, good luck. Come on, you Phoenix. Come on, you Phoenix. So back to Hawley where the ones were taken on French and Fourths and a time to give out a couple of first cap presentations to Sam and Joe Warren. So with the call of heads, we lost the toss and we were put into bat. We certainly weren't hanging around at the second ball, Sam hit for four. And Alan was also on great form, hitting fours for fun. And all of a sudden the score started to accumulate and we were well on our way. And 50 for Alan certainly soon turned oh, into 100 for Al. Yes! That's outstanding. And then unfortunately on 107 he got out in a fantastic innings though and an opening partnership of 182. So we then lost Joe early and then we didn't even know that Sam had got his 50 until the scoreboard had ticked over with a very short raise of the bat. So it was Sam and Tom with only five and a half overs left that really pushed on to try and accumulate as many as we could get. Took the catch of the day to dismiss Sam Warren for a fantastic debut of 87. That was marvellous. Yeah. Well taken, son. And then it was Neil and Isaac to finish it off. And had, what a way to do it. Shot, Isaac. Wow, Isaac. So a very healthy scorecard, 265 for four wickets off our 40 overs. Great start to the season from the captain, Alan, on 107. Well done, Sam, on 86. Tom on 19, Neil on 10, and a big six to finish from Isaac. And there are the French and bowling figures. Two for Toby, one for Andrew, 
and one for Richard. And we're always delighted to see these three legends down at Hawley. Oh, that's got to be. That's oh, got to be. Wicket, yeah. That was Isaac and Matty who kicked us off. And Matty got a couple of wickets right at the start with some superb bowling. And Harrison started in the wicket straight away yeah. with a great catch by Sam. Hold on. This was then followed by an enchanted spell from Joe Warren, who got the first man, the second one, and then the third wicket Maybe as well. Oh, 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 well. We're then back to Harrison with a fantastic bold before it was time for a bit of spin. And Sandeep was over the moon with his wicket and then followed up again to close the game out oh, as French and only that's had 10 great. players today. That so despite that, I think a very emphatic win for the Friendly Phoenix. Thank you to Frencham and also congratulations on your 125th anniversary. And we've even had some sunshine. The Frencham scorecard, 58 all out in 26.5 overs. And it means Frimley Phoenix win by 207 runs and getting the maximum 30 points. Let's see the figures of the bowlers who took the wickets. Joe Warren, 3 for 13. Sandip, 2 for 4. 2 for 6 for Matt. And 2 for 13 for Harrison. What a great day. Al, that's a pretty comprehensive win. What's your, what's your take on the whole game? Yeah, fantastic. Dominant from, from the start. Great first, first inning score. Myself and Sam putting on a, a, good, a good opening partnership. Um, really good to get over two, 260, I think, yeah, 266. Um, fantastic. It's a big, it's score, a big score, especially on that pitch. It was doing a lot of funny bounces. It was so wet and uh, difficult to bat on, um, but we showed what a great bowling side we are as well. So really, really pleased. First game of the season. Can't ask for much more than that. You can't, mate. And the two's winning as well. Yes, I've just heard, yes. Fantastic result. So two, two great wins for the Phoenix. Never easy to win at Elstead. Definitely not, definitely no, not. Come on your Phoenix, Go mate. on your Phoenix. So straight off to Elstead where the twos have won the toss and decided to field. And we had a cap presentation as well there for Andy McCarthy on his debut for the club. And what a start. Brilliantly bowled by Cam Khan, who's been on a comeback this year. Henry found a rhythm and he was on a hat-trick, but I'll let him tell you about that, but it will include a syrup award. Rossi, well, he bowled very, very well, but unfortunately never got the rub of the green as far as the umpire's concerned. What a great debut for Andy. He ended up with three wickets. Anil got in there as well. Dear old Baz, he got one as well. Great to see Baz back after being out with an ankle last year. And then Ryan mopped up in the end. So that was the end of the Elstead innings with only Darren and Chris getting into double figures. Brilliant bowling effort from the Phoenix. 74 all out, 29.3 overs. Look at that for a bowling performance. A wicket for Cam on his return. Two for Henry. Well bowled Rossi. Great debut from Andy with three wickets. And it will chip it in with one. Same with Baz. And two for Ryan at the end. So with 75 to win, it's never easy chasing these small totals. And it was Sammy and Jinto that got us off to a start. After a bit of a scare with Sammy getting cramp, it was him and Anil that knocked off the final runs for a historic win here at Elstead. That's the Phoenix batting card, 77 for three wickets off 27.2 overs. Still plenty of time to go with Sammy and Jinto both getting into the 20s and knocking the runs off. The Elstead bowling, well, everyone was quite tidy. But Darren, Lewis and Keith were the ones who got the wickets. Just confirmation of the victory. One by seven wickets did Friendly Phoenix twos. And that's 28 points and a great start to the season. So my player today is Sammy, who had a dislocated finger whilst wicket keeping. Right. And he had cramp whilst batting, but he still yeah. ploughed on and Thank saw the game well. home. So, how do you think you it went? Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it was a tough team yeah. and tough pitch to bat. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but a good uh, performance by all. Yeah, of course, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ball especially. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. That's brilliant performance. Good. And you ball well. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> Come on, you Phoenix. Come on, you Phoenix. And with the sunshine still out, remarkably. Yeah. What a fantastic evening we were having and it's great to get us all back at Hawley together after a great day's cricket for both teams. So Sunday fun day to finally close the weekend's cricket and who better to play against than the lovely lads 
at Chudley Ales. Always good fun and always in great spirit. So Matty was skippering today and he won the toss and decided to bat. And we lost Mark early and it was then Sandeep and Alex who steadied the ship. Alex made a good start but just got beaten in the flight with this one before it was time for the captain to come to the crease. Unlucky Matty, even Chudley L said, you've clipped it to the guy who's the only one who can catch in their team. So it was Sandeep and Chris this time that cracked on. And the weather wasn't looking particularly great, but we hope to be able to at least finish the first innings. It got murkier and murkier. And in the end, it was Harry and Carl that saw us home at the end of the innings. I really felt like I was coming into my own then, yeah. <laughs> and there's the Phoenix card. It's 144 of 35 overs, not 100 there that said. And well batted Sandeep and everybody else who chipped in as well. Quick look at the Chudley Owls bowlers. A few unknowns there. They're not brothers. We just haven't got them down on play cricket. Well done, Campo. Always takes a good few wickets. So great to see Matty getting everyone into the huddle and a great team talk as we went out to try and see whether we could win this game. So we started out with Sagar hurling it down. But when you look at that sky, that didn't look very good at all, does it? And it wasn't long before it was game over, unfortunately. The one final look at the wicket, but it was pretty obvious that it was time to shake hands and call it a day. We don't want to ruin the pitch. And everyone was keen to get a drink and get themselves home into the warm, I think. That's where the game ended. 44 for one of 14 overs. And BJ getting the only wicket, caught and bowled. It's just a look at our bowling. As I say, the only wicket falling from BJ. And a game of just throwing the ball around to give everyone a go. Just confirmation, match abandoned due to rain. Thank you so much, everybody who turned out on a Sunday. That's massive for us. And thank you so much, Matt, for captain. Let's have a look at next week's fixtures. <laughs>